Up next, viewers, we're tracking some important developing stories when it comes to the PDP leaders now. The PDP General Secretary Mehbu Beg has in fact insulted India now and he has stated that there is no reason to stay Hindustan Zindabad and we have seen this is the PDP General Secretary, in fact a close aide of Mehbooba Mufti as well and he has in a public rally also stated that there is absolutely no requirement for anyone to say Hindustan Zindabad and we are tracking that story very very closely but first let's listen in to what exactly Mehbu Beg had said. Aapko Hindu Musliman ki baat in kar dein kis khub surat desh ko inho ne kya bana diya ye desh Nehru ka desh Gandhi ka desh Ambedkar ka desh مولانا عبر کلام آزاد کا دیش یقین جان گئے میں اللہ کی قسم کہتا ہوں آپ سے آج میرے پاس کوئی آرگومنٹ نہیں ہے کہنے کے لئے کہ میں ہندوستان زندہ بات کو ہوں کیونکہ یہ سب آرگومنٹ انہوں نے چھین لیے مجھ سے Well, yes, sir, and that was Mehbu Beg really saying that there is no reason for anyone to say Hindustan زندہ بات and let's once again listen into what he was saying and he has tried to justify his statements of uh, appealing to anyone to not say Hindustan Zindabad. Let's listen in once again. You talk about Hindu Muslims. What have they made in this beautiful country? This country is the country of Nehru, the country of Gandhi, the country of Ambedkar, the country of Mulana Kalam Azad, یقین جان گئے میں اللہ کی قسم کہتا ہوں آپ سے آج میرے پاس کوئی آرگومنٹ نہیں ہے کہنے کے لئے کہ میں ہندوستان زندہ بات کو ہوں کیونکہ یہ سب آرگومنٹ انہوں نے چھین لیے ہوئے ہیں گرسمرن میرے کالیگ آلسو جوائنز اس آن دی بروڈکاسٹ گرسمرن اگر میں کچھ 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 ہم نے دیکھا کہ پی ڈی پی چیف ایز ویل ایز ادھر لیڈرز آف دی پی ڈی پی ہیو کنٹینیوسلی ڈیگریڈڈ انڈیا ایز ویل اور ناو ونس اگین ان ایس ٹیٹمنٹ بیر ہی ایس سیڈ دیر ایس نو نیڈ ٹو سی ہندوستان زندہ بات بیر واز ہی سپیکنگ وٹ واز دا کنٹیکس تیل اس مور Priyanka, this is an unfortunate statement that is coming by Mehboob Beg, who is the general secretary of the PDP and it is coming uh, when Mehboob uh, Mufti was just sitting next to him. Uh, he said that there is no argument uh, that he should say Hindustan Zindabad and he was trying to target the union government. Uh, that is acceptable but saying this that he has no argument to say Hindustan Zindabad, this has become a part of the politics of the style of the Kashmir based political parties because uh, uh, after that what he mentioned was that the people's alliance for the Gop car declaration will sweep Kashmir Valley. So this statement can be seen by that view that they are trying to garner the votes from the Kashmir Valley. They are born to win all 47 seats in the Kashmir Valley and that's why they are giving the anti-India statements. They still think that by giving these kind of a statements they can garner the votes from the Kashmir Valley. This clearly shows that they are not aware of the changes that have taken place on ground that the people of Kashmir have changed. They don't want the so-called slogan of Azad or the anti-India slogans to give their votes. They now give votes for the development and the change they have seen post application of Article 370 and 35 Alpha. But the leaders from the PDP, they are still in that their fool's paradise that they can garner the votes on those old line. And this that I cannot say Hindustan Zindabad seems to be one such gimmick or one such slogan that has been given by the PDP. But it's going to have repercussions for the PDP. If you remember when Mehbooba Mufti said that there will be no one to hold Teranga. There was a series of resignations from the PDP and now once again similar kind of a statement is coming from PDP General Secretary. Well yes, Gur Samran, very rightly you're pointing out, there have been time and time again that Mehbooba Mufti has also made several such statements, uh, one being of course that of the Teranga and now we see a very close aide of Mehbooba Mufti also making these kind of statements claiming that there's no need to say Hindustan Zindabad. But tell us more about what exactly, uh, where exactly was he speaking? Is there a rally that he was addressing? And also is there any political reaction that you're also picking up uh, there uh, on the ground? 
Uh, see, he has spoken a couple of minutes ago. Here, Mahbuba Mufti was holding a political rally in Jammu. This is in the Jammu area. Important to mention that Mahbuba Mufti, who is on a week-long tour to Jammu region, is now focusing on the Hindu belt. As also mentioned by Mahbub Beg, that we will get all 47 seats in Kashmir, but here uh, the people have to work. That means they are now trying to shift their focus to the Hindu heartland, where BJP is considered a strong player. And that's why these kind of statements are coming, so that they can garner votes uh, from Kashmir. Kashmir Valley because in Jammu PDP is not having that much of the carder uh, when it speaks to the vote conversion into the seats uh, that has not happened in the past and it, it seems really very difficult for the PDP but from uh, a, a statement that is being given from Jammu they are trying to garner the votes in the Kashmir Valley they are trying to get uh, those stronghold vote which PDP still feels is with them those who will vote them just for uh, degrading India. Priyanka. Well, yes, Gursimran, stay on with us. Uh, Nirmal Singh, the former deputy uh, of uh, Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, is also joining us. Uh, Nirmal Singh, if I could come to you with these uh, statements that have been made by Mehbooba Mufti's close counterpart. Time and time again, we have seen several such statements that the PDP uh, leaders keep making. And now, this time again, they have said that there's no need to say Hindustan Zindabad. What do you make of these statements? This is uh, very unfortunate and condemnable that the PTP is resorting to their old tactic. That is anti-national uh, uh, statements and activity. They must understand that this is the uh, uh, India of 21st century. The India which is being led by uh, this, uh, uh, Pradhan Mantri, Prime Minister Modi ji. They will, will not be allowed to do say this. Ultimately, they are doing this uh, treason. They shall be tried under this law. That is very clear. Well, yes, but why is it that even earlier we had seen how Mehbooba Mufti had also made several such statements that there will be no Tirangas in Jammu and Kashmir and now a very close uh, counterpart is also now claiming that there is no need to say Hindustan Zindabad. What are they really trying to achieve with these kind of anti-India statements that they're making in public forums? They are desperate and they are trying to incite this uh, anti-national uh, sentiments of Kashmir Valley. Uh, the same person, he was a member of parliament, he was sitting in the parliament and now he is saying that I am not going to say Hindustan Zindabad. This is treason, this is anti-national approach and I must say that he, they must be tried under uh, this uh, the treason law because they are doing uh, anti-national activity but they will suffer in the long run because the Kashmiris, they have realized the old uh, follies of such people, their old tactics. Now they are not listening to this uh, Mahbuba Mufti or uh, her associates. They have to pay in the next election. That's very clear. Well, yes, sir, stay on with us. We are also being joined by the uh, another spokesperson of the PDP. And let's, let me put across this question to them itself, uh, where we are. And we have seen how time and time again, the PDP leaders have always made such kind of statements. We also have Anil Sethi, the PDP spokesperson who's joining us on the broadcast. Uh, uh, Mr. Sethi, if I could come to you, why is it that uh, leaders of your party are always uh, making statements that are not in India's interest and now another such statement that has come to light, claiming that there's no need to say Hindustan Zindabad. What do you have to say for this? I completely disagree and disown uh, this statement. There was nothing of the sort stated either by Mr. Mahbub Beg or by anybody else or by my party president. BJP has, who was this gentleman who was quoting Mr. Mahbub Beg? Sir, we have a bite of Mahbub Beg saying this on record. There can be no denial that he had made these statements. But only thing that we can ask is why were these statements made and what are they trying to achieve with this? Mr. Mabu Beg said that we had conceived and agreed to establish a secular India, an India where, where Hindu, Muslim, Sikh and Christians all live together as brothers and sisters. And that identity of India is losing its uh, credibility. Therefore, it, it gives a kind of hurting feeling. It hurts now. 
to dream of such that India which was conceived by our forefathers. It is in that context that the priests don't distort it beyond proportion. This is not distortion, sir, but if I could come to you, are you standing by those statements saying that uh, there should not be anybody saying Hindustan Zindabad anymore? No, there was no such statement. I, I completely disagree with you. You are again distorting, you are misreading the statement of Mr. Mehbubek. Could you then, sir, for our viewers, could you explain what he meant by the statement if you are saying that he was justified in making such statements? He was justified in saying that the, there is the secular India, the secular fabric of India is in danger. The secular image of India, the secular character of India, the society of the India which, which uh, we had cherished in our childhood and in our youth, comprising of Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, everybody living like brothers and sisters. That identity of India is losing its character and therefore it hurts. Nothing more than that. All right. So that is uh, Anil Sethi, the PDP spokesperson, joining us on the broadcast. Uh, I thank you, sir, for joining us here on Republic. And we will be keeping a close track of that developing story with respect to the statements that are now being made by the PDP leaders. For the moment, we track some other stories. Please.